moving it all around because we're not trying to look like a clown sister <laughs> Hello, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Yvonne and in today's video we are doing a quick and simple makeup tutorial that anybody could do. Now if there's something that you're interested in, please stick around. But before we get into it, I'll please like to ask you to like, comment, and subscribe. First, of course, we are going to do brows. Now my brows are, oh this girl can't see nothing in this mirror. So my brows are microbladed, so I don't really have to do much to my brows and this is an everyday look so we're not trying to do too much but i do feel like i should like fill my brows in a little bit with pencil but i don't so we're just going to go in grading my brows up a little bit to kind of prep them for the brow glue but before we do that girl i almost forgot we're going to start off with the elf putty primer Actually, this girl, not me making this stuff up. The e.l.f. Power Grip Primer, girl. I'm sure you already know what this is. This is an, a really affordable primer that I've been using for a while now. So I've learned you don't really want to fully like wipe it in like it's lotion or like skin moisturizer. You kind of more want to like pat it into your face and then if you are like a wig girly like me, you wanna make sure around your line, your hairline, you're a little bit more careful because you don't wanna <laughs> pull your wig off trying to put some primer on. So next, I like to do a step to prevent like a lot of um, glowiness and just to help my overall makeup set better. I've done this re more recently after like taking pictures and seeing I'm very shiny or when I film you know I'm behind a, I'm in front of a lot of lights so I need a little bit of a shine protector so I have been using this morphe powder this is the morphe translucent rich um, bacon set powder but it's I was a good amount in here but I, today I was going to go ahead and use this Too Faced um translucent powder and this is in translucent medium but i feel like let's see this one is less like my yeah so this is less like my skin color so i don't really want to put this on my base i will put this under my eyes i don't think that would be too big of a deal but i feel like to put underneath my makeup so i don't look crazy i would rather use this because if you see this is much more similar to my skin color so we gonna girl try to get all of this out well we got a good amount and then we're gonna go in with a fluffy brush and i like to put it on the back of my hand just so like i can kind of control the product better we're going to just go all over our face After doing this step, you should definitely notice a decrease in shine. So now we're gonna go back to our brows. Just gonna straighten them out once again and get any like powder that might have got on them. And then we're going to go in with the NYX brow glue. I usually get this off of Amazon just because it's easy just to order it. Um, but they sell this at Ulta and I believe Target as well. So I just like to swipe with my brow, like swipe my brows up. You can see what I'm doing. But again, this may be a little different for you if your brows are not microbladed. Of course, you would have to go in maybe after shaping your brow and go in with a little bit of um, eyebrow pencil. Next, we are going to do foundation. Well, actually, we are going to use a skin tint. This is the, what is it? The Fenty Beauty Ease Drop, and I'm in the color 21. And because this is a skin tint, this is gonna have um, not as much coverage as, you know, a foundation, but putting the powder on first does, I feel like, extend that coverage a bit. 
before I actually blend my foundation, my skin tint, whatever I'm choosing to wear that day out, I like to spray on some setting spray. The one I'm using right now is a Charlotte Tilbury. Um, you can of course use NYX, ELF, whatever your fancy girl, it really just a setting spray, okay? You want to make sure we are blending okay and when you blend you see i'm patting i'm not just what is that i'm not swiping across my face you know this you're painting but you're not painting you know you want to you want to pet because you don't want to just wipe the the product off next we're going to go in with concealer 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 and this is the sephora best skin ever I'm the color 35 and I like to do a color more like close this isn't my skin tone but it's probably like maybe a step or two under like it ain't too crazy okay it's definitely more than a step maybe <laughs> But I like to put like a couple dots on my nose just to highlight it because I don't contour my nose. And that's what we're looking like right now. We're gonna let that sit because it's best when you let your concealer sit. So when you blend it out, it sits put a little better and it adds a little bit more coverage. Okay, so while that's sitting, we're gonna go in and do our contour. Right now, I am loving this Vanessa Myricks Beauty Contour. It is in the color Deep 2. And we're just gonna go in on our cheekbone. And we're gonna stay up in there because I found when you start coming down too much, that's when you start looking like you're dead. So you want to stay up right up in here, okay? Right here. And then that will naturally create a line that looks like it's coming all the way down. But you wanna be real careful of bringing it down too low. And then I also like to take this and put it on my jawline because we're trying to get snatched, of course. Shining, 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 shining now. All of this winning next we are going to go in and do liquid blush this at this point you can do a liquid or a cream blush but this is just my favorite right now it's rare beauty in the color believe and i get this and i like to put about two dots two little cute dots like up here and then when we blend this out we want to make sure we are keeping this product we want to make sure we're keeping the product where we put it like we don't want to be moving it all around because we're not trying to look like a clown sister see how i'm literally just staying right there because i literally want it right there so now we have let our concealer sit so it is time to buff it out buff it blend it you know what i'm saying girl so we wanna blend like, of course when it's like this, we wanna blend it out, but we want to kind of focus like on the edge. And now when it's to this point, we're just gonna focus on blending the edges. Of course you can use a, blend, a beauty blender because it's definitely easier to, you know, blend and probably like faster but i found with using brushes um it's just easier to control the product um and you're not just like wiping the product off because no shade but i feel like girl i thought i stopped i thought <laughs> i thought we weren't recording and i was like oh my god but no shade but I feel like beauty blenders are so good at blending because they're actually taking a lot of product away. Maybe I don't know what I'm talking about, but I feel like if you don't use a beauty blender correctly, you can 
just take off a lot of the product that you put on your face. But I definitely think they are good for beginners. Now we're gonna go in and set our under eye. I like to first set with this pressed powder from Sephora. It is the Micro Smooth Face Powder. Very affordable, so I definitely recommend. This is the color Almond 58. And we again pressing into the skin. And then we're gonna go in and set the rest of our face that kind of have highlights. So if you see my forehead, kind of has light on it. So we're gonna highlight that. Again, the bridge of our nose, we're gonna do this and then kind of bring it up. And then we're also gonna do like, right here on the side of our faces, cause you know that decreasing sister. So you wanna do that. And then this side right here, the bottom half. Now we're going to go in with a darker color of the same powder and we're going to set the, the darker parts of our face. So right here where we put our contour, our jawline, and then I like to put this powder on my neck. I feel like putting it as darker color kind of like does, like it helps to kind of make it look snatched. Now we're gonna set under our eyes. And I was gonna use this Too Faced, but I ain't even gonna hold y'all, I'm scared. So we are going to use this Morphe, just because I know what to do. I definitely used this Too Faced. You know what, should we use it y'all? Hell no. We're gonna go in and then set with the loose powder under the eye. We're gonna dab it on our hand because we don't need that goddamn much. And we're gonna go in. And press. And then when you do this, whether you're using a triangle or a beauty blender, make sure the powder is even on the tool before you put it on your face. And then we're gonna use the excess to kind of just do the rest. And I say this all the time, girl, my eye is not giving me a break. But I say this all the time, I do not bake, I set. So we are gonna go in right after that um, and wipe it off, or not really wipe it off, but kind of wipe the excess um, powder off with the Micro Smooth Powder. After setting, now it is time to put some color back in our face. So I like to use She's Defined by Patrick Ta, which is a cream contour and powder bronzer duo. So I rarely use the contour, or maybe I'll try to next time I do my makeup. But you saw that we used Vanessa, Vanessa Myricks. And let's compare. So that one, oh I, yeah, I see what it is. I don't really like this contour because you see it's kind of reddish. This one is not, and it's darker. Like, I don't know if you can see that, but I like this color better. We're gonna add contour, I mean bronzer, basically to the same place that we added the contour. And this kind of has a reddish tone to it as well, but I don't mind it because it's a bronzer. You know, this is an everyday, cute brunch, cute date. Not a first date, because recently, girl, I'm like, I'm not, I don't wear for makeup on first dates. It's, not that it's not worth it, but I don't know. I, I like to just go a little bit casual. And for me, casual is no makeup. <laughs> So I also like to put bronzer on my eyes and this is definitely like a beginner thing because I don't know how to do eyeshadow, at least not in a way to make it look good. So this is my way in kind of like tricking people or tricking, faking it to look like I have eyeshadow or some type of something going on with my eyes. So I literally just swipe it over my whole eye girl. And I do it until it's as dark as I want. 
And right now it might not look like much, but I feel like when I put lashes on, it definitely like brings it out more. Now we're getting towards the end. <laughs> Y'all feel like I'm going to do battle right now with my eye. But we're getting towards the end and we're about to do our second round. Well, like our second and third round of blush, okay? So right now my current obsession is this Wet n Wild plus CoverGirl Duo. This is Mellow Wine and then I don't know. This is, I have no idea because I've accidentally peeled it off. But you can find both at five below for a very good price sister so i like to get this and then uh, of course go over you know where we put the blush in the first place and just like look how pretty <sighs> mm -mm -mm. and then when we're happy with that second coat we'll go well the second round we're going in with the third round which is this cubby girl cubby girl chicas we're at the point just just to set the, the speech impediment okay all right and then we just go over that oh my god girl and we just go over that and we look real real girly real baby doll now we are going to go in and we are going to set once again and of course you want to make sure you shake the setting spray before you use it it don't matter what brand you're using girl shaky and before i do this i like to make sure we ain't got no lines going on we are blended sister i mean of course you can go in after but i just like to make sure we good we good to go and that might look like a lot but we just put a lot of makeup on so we just want to make sure we set that down and we're going to allow that to dry, prepping to put on our lashes. We're going on in with this CoverGirl mascara. Girl, this is a mascara I also got from Five Below. It wasn't $5. Um, it was below. But I'm just using this right now because the mascara that I was using, which wasn't special, just ran out. And this is what I had. I use these lashes that I get from Amazon. They are my most favorite lashes ever, girl. Um, they are 12 to 18 millimeter and they are called a Lorraine and it comes with seven pairs. Now I don't put makeup on every day um, so these last me a pretty good amount of time and I swear I recently just learned to put on lashes. Sometimes they still be looking a little wonky especially if I have nails on but I'm going to put my lashes on and we will be back. That took a lot. <laughs> So now we're going to do lips. Um, we're going to wipe the moisture off of our lips to help everything adhere. Right now, my favorite pencil is actually this CoverGirl Perfect Blend Pencil. And this is an eyebrow pencil. So. Now we're going to go in with a NYX Butter Gloss. It doesn't really matter what you use. Um, it's a darker color. This is Lava Cake. Um, I just like to put a darker color around the lips, kind of going around where I put um, the lip liner. But like wider. I get a lighter color. This is Morphe Freebird. And I put it in the middle. Usually only on one side because I don't want too much. And then that's our finished product, y'all. It's a quick and easy, simple, everyday, our filming makeup look. Um, you don't have to use the products that I mentioned. You can use whatever products. It was really more about the steps um, and like how you're like blending out and everything. I feel like it's not really about the product. You should find what works for you. Now, do I love everything I just used? I do. So, yes, I do recommend them. If you made it this far in the video, thank you so much for rocking with me. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.